everybody. Welcome to our channel. Hey Quinn, do you know what we're going to learn about today? No clue what? Hippos. I love hippos! Did you know they're actually called lake pigs? What? No. Um, maybe it's actually a r river rhino. You're embarrassing me. Um, maybe it's, um, uh, Cow Creek, Creek, Creek Cows, Creek Cows, that's it, Creek Cows. It's actually called... No, 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 no. Stop, you're going to spoil it. We're going to share this information in the video. Let's learn, learn about, about hippos. Pretty sure they're still called lake pigs. You're embarrassing me. The hippopotamus or hippo is a massive mammal that is considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. time living in rivers, lakes, or even swamps. Gus was kind of close what their name is. Their name actually means river horse because they spend so much of their life in the water. Hippos are the third largest mammal that live on Earth. The only mammals on Earth, not in the ocean, that are larger are the rhinoceros and the elephant. Hippos can grow up to 10 feet long, 5 feet tall at the shoulder, and weigh as much as 7,000 pounds, or 3.5 tons. That's as much as 3 small cars. Hippos have short legs and an enormous mouth, and bodies that are shaped like wide barrels. A hippo's feet have four webbed toes and have a flat, paddle-like tail to help them swim. The hippo's nose, ears, and eyes are on top of their head. They stick out of the water while the rest of its head and its body stay below the surface. This allows a hippo to breathe, see, and even hear as they are underwater. They can still listen and watch for predators. When a hippo does go completely underwater, their nose and ears automatically close, preventing any water from getting in. And despite their tremendous size, hippos are great in the water and can hold their breath for up to five minutes underwater. Hippos usually bound or walk on the bottom of the river. That's right. Hippos have a lot of fat, and this helps them to float a bit, but once they sink, they will need to walk back to shallower water so they can get back to the surface. Hippos are not thought to be very fast-moving animals, but in short bursts, they can run up to 30 miles per hour. Although they look very fat, hippos are really in great shape and can easily outrun a human. And resting in water helps to keep the hippo's temperature down when it's too hot outside. They also have a unique red sweat. It's an oily red liquid that looks like they are sweating blood. But it's actually not blood. It's used to protect their skin from drying out and works like a sunblock too. I wonder what SPF it is for these river horses. Hippos are most active at night. Usually they stay in the water most of the day and come out to eat as the sun starts going down and the temperature begins to drop. Also, hippos are herbivores. So when hippos leave the water, they go on land and search for food. It's mostly grass. In fact, they can eat up to 150 pounds of grass every single night. A male hippopotamus is called a bull. A female hippo is called a cow. And a young or baby hippo is called a calf. And they usually live in groups of around 10 to 20 other hippos. These groups are known as a herd, or a pod, or even a bloat. And this group is led by one large, dominant male. 
The other members are females, and their calves, and a few younger males. The leader of the group keeps control of his mating area by fighting off rival hippos. To warn off other males, they will open their enormous mouths to display their long, curved canine teeth. They also make loud grunts and aggressive splashes in the water. Do you even lift, bro? Male hippos are very protective of their group and are extremely aggressive animals. And hippos will not hesitate to attack humans. In fact, they'll attack anything or anyone that is trying to hurt or threaten them. In fact, hippos are responsible for more human deaths than any other large animal in Africa. The males are known to attack other hippos that are trying to take over their area. And female hippos will attack predators that are trying to hurt their young babies. Female hippos give birth, usually to one single calf, every two years. They give birth in the water, and the calf can weigh anywhere from 50 all the way up to 110 pounds. The calf and its mother will stay alone, close to the edge of the water, for a 10-day bonding period. And soon after, the mother and calf join up with other cows and calves for extra protection against predators, such as crocodiles, lions, and even hyenas. Adult hippos are so large and strong, there are no animal that even try to hunt or attack them. However, hippos are threatened by humans because humans want their meat as well as their large ivory teeth. Hippos are now considered vulnerable. This means we have to take care of them, look after them, and protect them. These incredible mammals were once seen all over sub-Saharan Africa, but now their populations have dwindled because of habitat damage as well as hunting. Today, they are mostly restricted to preserved areas in East African countries. In the wild, hippos live for around 40 years. And in captivity, as well as in preserved areas, they tend to even live longer and can reach up to as much as 50 years old. Wow, that's pretty neat and a lot of information about hippos. What do you think? Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And, and we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!